Thank you very much. Hello, class of 2020. As I stand here in front of you virtually, I cannot even put the words to say how proud we are of you. Your teachers, your parents, your family, your friends. This accomplishment and what you have been able to do this year is beyond words can put into knowledge. So what do I tell you as we deal with uncertainty around the world? We're in the middle of a pandemic where the globalized world, where something happens in one corner, affects us all the way here in Kenya. I encourage all of you, and I don't want you for one minute to forget how proud we are, the hard work, the grit, the resilience that has brought you here. So when I thought about that, okay, what can I tell all of you that would leave you, I hope, with a little bit of inspiration, but would also make this day a little easier for you, if it's worth anything. I wasn't here for my graduation per se, but those details are a little airy because it was my prom night. So it's all right, it happens. So you could also be here in another 10 years and you would be speaking to the students of 2030 and you'll have your graduation in physical. So here we go. A positive mindset. Through what we're going through right now in the world, you must have a positive mindset. You are what you feed your mind, and visualization is reality. As everything is shut down, you're in your homes right now, and you're streaming this live, you have to be thankful that if this was 20 years ago, I don't think we'd have had the possibility to stream it. And so we have to be very thankful. And before you even go further, live presently, be present, don't dwell on the past. I wish somebody told me this when I was your age and when I was here in Rusinga, it almost feels surreal to say over 10 years ago that living presently means being part and parcel of the moment and enjoying that moment. So even as you're home now and looking at the screens and seeing over 50 of you live streaming this, it's remarkable. You are all such blessed, talented, young human beings. So enjoy this process. Besides, most of the time when you are in school, you're thinking about, ah, oh, I want to be home. Now you're home. And as you live presently, please continue to seek opportunities, but seek opportunities as you live in this present moment. I always say it's great to dream, it's great to think far and beyond, but always look at your surroundings and see, what can I do? They say a lot of the time, and I always hear this, and I heard it for the last 10 years, you are the future, you are the future. No, you are the now. What you do now, you can change the world in your own little way. I always encourage young students like yourselves that it's the little bit you do. It's a little you do, and if somebody else puts that little bit as well, how much can we all do? And what is that change we'd be able to see that we strive so hard for? So when you talk about thinking positive, it's not about expecting the best of every situation, but it is knowing it is for the best, even when faced with adversity as we are now. So remember to think positively. I read something this morning in my devotion and it talked about the more you think about something and you say, I want to see something, it's ironic how it comes all of a sudden into your life and you say, oh, deja vu. But that's part of thinking positively. That's part of the visualization. So as you stand here or at your home and you sit down and you watch this on your computers and your phones, you're thinking about purpose. And what is your purpose? And guess what? You might just not have it figured out quite yet. And that is very OK. Purpose, as Aristotle said, happiness is the meaning and purpose of life. The whole end aim 
to human existence. So as you're sitting there right now and you're thinking about, oh, I had plans. Perhaps you wanted to be with your friends right now. You are ready to walk down this beautiful stage and go to your prom and you were thinking about your career and you were thinking about, some of you even thinking about leaving home and maybe who you will be able to spend the rest of your life with. But don't worry, with purpose it will all come to you and you shouldn't rush it. And that's why I love a saying that talks about passion, when you develop and you understand your passions and you follow your passions, you will be able to find your purpose. So find something to live for. And I think I have to say a kind note to the parents. Thank you so much for the support you have given the class of 2020. But it's also important, please be close to them during this transition. It's not easy. Remember, your dreams are not their dreams. And it's very important that during this hard transition, you nurture their talents and their interests, and you ensure to encourage them to pursue them and what really ticks them. This stage, Andrew Singer School, is an institution I am extremely proud to be associated with. Great people have walked on this stage in the past, the current, and in the future. And never forget one of the greatest, Lupita Nyong'o, who went from this own stage here to the world stage at large, and she encouraged and told everybody, your dreams are valid. This one is a strange one, but it's very important. Posture. This was hammered in by Mrs. Ordeño every other day. Sit up straight, walk with your shoulders back, look straight dead in the eyes. And Mrs. Wetcher would say the same thing during music. If you don't sit up straight, then your vocal cords will not be warm enough for your voice to come out. So I've heard it so many times and I thought, ah, oh, I can't wait when I'm out of Rusinga. And then you go into the real world and you realize that first impressions are lasting impressions. So as you go out there, remember, be confident in every room you walk into. Walk knowing you belong. You are there for a purpose and you are there to leave your lasting change and legacy. Patience and perseverance. They say patience is tolerance and endurance of difficult situations as we're going through now. Well, perseverance is determination and what you as an individual strives to achieve. So, you've heard patience a million times. I remember hearing it. I would be trying to run to the tuck shop and they said, no, 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 no. No running to the tuck shop, no running to the bus park. Patience, patience, patience. And patience is so important and I can't tell you because as human beings, it is so easy for us to want something so bad that you get impatient. I remember when I finished my master's degree and I got into a job and I wasn't so happy in this job and I applied for another job. So the first stage, there was a test and I said, are they really going to make me learn Eng you know, write English and mathematics just to enter a bank? And I said, okay, patience then the second stage, then the third stage. And I remember going all the way to meeting the CEO and I said, oh, I've bagged this job. One month later, I never heard from them. Two months later, I never heard. So I penned down an email to HR and I said, what's going on? I was supposed to have this by now. They said, we'll get back to you when we can. I wasn't patient. I called back two weeks later. And I pushed them to the point they sent me an email and said, unfortunately, because you're not patient enough, we cannot give you this job. And I was crushed. 
And I kept telling myself, patience, patience, why couldn't I have it? Until today in my email, I have that in my archives and I always go back to it and I remember, be patient. But part of patience is perseverance because it's not easy. As you're home right now, you have to persevere. And a lot of people ask me, wow, this year you are in Forbes 30, under 30, class of 2020. How does it feel? And I say it feels great, but it was not the first time I applied. And that's where the lesson of perseverance comes because you will get rejection and rejection is part of what will take you to your next level. It will push you. And so being in the class this year feels great. But last year when I applied, I didn't even get an email. I wasn't even told you didn't make it. You just see a fancy list come up and you see your name's not there. They never asked for your photos or your bio and you realize it hurts. But rejection is part of your journey. So don't be afraid of rejection. It will make you stronger. Planning. I remember leaving Rusenga and I thought, oh, wow. I don't have to bring my diary every morning to be signed. I was like, this is it. I'm done. I'm excited. Little did I know, a few months later, I would be walking to textbook center right in the front where they keep the diaries and journals, and I was going to get one. And why is that, you may ask? Because planning is so important. You must plan, and I always say, plan all the way to the end. So as you're sitting at home, I encourage you, look at your year and say, what do you want to achieve by the end of this year or the end of next year? and break it into bite-sized points on a monthly basis, weekly basis, and on a daily basis. You have no idea how much it will encourage you and will help you monitor and evaluate and see, okay, I missed out on this mark, but I'm going here. One of the first mentors I ever had asked me, what are your short-term, mid-term, and long-term goals? And my response was, um, in what sense? And he said, one year, five years, ten years. And I said, now how am I supposed to know what I want to do in ten years? I'm just trying to figure myself out now. And ironically, I came across this sheet of paper last year, and some of the things that I'd put on that list, I have ticked that box. So plan all the way to the end. Another thing I always say is a vision board is so important. I have a vision board where I put lots of photos and words of affirmation of who I want to be, the person I see myself being and where I want to travel even around the world. And these things keep coming one after the other because that's the power of visualization. What you see, what you continuously feed yourself is going to be a product of who you become. As you're all told, stay at home, social distance, 1.5 meters apart, but that should not take away from a very, very key theme, partnership. Partnership is so important. No man is an island. Work with your peers, work with your friends, work with your siblings. Collaboration is key, and when you look at some of the greatest companies around the world, you will realize that it was through collaboration and partnership that they've been able to get to where they are. So make sure you realize that we all have our own individual strengths, but it's important to balance these because we also have our own weaknesses, and somebody else's strengths can come and amplify your own weaknesses, and you can come together and create something great. So as I conclude, I would say one of the most important, if not the most important, is prayer. Pray steadfastly. Pray when you're down. Have an attitude of gratitude. Don't only close your eyes and pray and say, 
please God this, but also say, thank you God, I'm alive. Today is May the 29th and I can say I'm alive and breathing and I'm healthy. I have my family around me. I can celebrate this transition into year 12 and moving into whatever the world has left for you. Prayer is so important and as the theme for this graduation is hope. God is faithful and keeps his promises. Never forget, he will continue to keep the promises he made to you. So pray and also never forget, give back. Give back to the people who are less fortunate. Be kind and pull those when they're down because that also is a very integral part of prayer. So as I close, class of 2020, I am so proud of you. All of you are now chartering a path and a trajectory that is going to be beyond brilliant. I encourage you to keep your hopes high. Don't let the distractions of the world, because there will be many, don't let them move you in the wrong direction. But remember, it's never going to be linear. It's never going to be straight. There'll be ups, there'll be downs, there'll be curves, but you've got this. So congratulations to all of you. Thank you.